Welcome to this short tutorial on the use of Flickr. You no doubt have hundreds or thousands of photographs that you store on your computer. The key to Flickr, however, is that it gives you the opportunity to remotely store your images off-site. You can keep your images private or you can share your images with family and friends or to the public at large. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start the Flickr uploader. This is a tool that we use to quickly upload a batch of photographs at one given time. Flickr allows you to access through the uploader different accounts this uploader is currently signed in on the Sierra Tech uh, account. I want to switch my account to the North Tahoe Community Church account. I click the Switch Users, select North Tahoe Community Church, and my default is for privacy is that anyone can see these pictures. I'll click OK. And notice on the right here, this is grayed out. And the reason why it's grayed out is because we have nothing ready for upload. And so this is not functional until we are ready to actually drag some pictures on the left here. And I'm going to do that. I've opened up my folder with uh, nine pictures. I'm going to select the first one hit the shift key on my keyboard and select the last one. That's the Windows methodology for selecting a list of files. And I'm going to drag those to the uploader window. I'll minimize this. Now notice the right here is still non-functional. And I'll explain the use of the right. It's telling me to select the photo or many photos that you wish to upload. What I'm going to do is drag a box around the photos. And now notice that this is now functional. I typically check this even though it says default. This is how you share your photographs or how you plan to share your photographs or keep private if you want to to keep your photos private only for you to see, i.e. for insurance purposes you have photographs of some artwork or something in your house that you want to keep off-site in case you have a loss. You can select that your friends, your family, uh, which are contacts that you maintain in your account can also access and see them but unless they are within your contact list, they will not be able to view the images. Um, if you want just your family, uh, again, you check what you desire. Now, I don't want anyone to be able to see this. Now, what I have here, I can replace the titles. Now, you notice the titles. And I'm going to open this back up. NTCC 4208 doesn't mean a whole lot. In the interest of saving time, I'm not going to replace a title, but I could put steel beams here. And as each image is uploaded, it will say steel beams and then put a number afterwards. Flickr allows you to create categories called sets that allow you to title what images are stored in the set. So I'm going to create a new set for this. Click Create Set, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say NTCC Floor Steel Beam Installation. And I'm going to say the Sometimes I put the dates in the titles. Add a description. 
Now, if you misspell this and you discover that later on, you can change this when you go online into your Flickr account. So it's not that important that it be accurate. Uh, you can always edit all your images, names, and other information. I'll click OK. And on the right here it says, these will be added to in the name of the set, NTCC Floor Steel Beams Installation. I am not going to put any existing or uh, new descriptions here. Tags are used to assist search engines uh, to find these photographs. Tags again are keywords. So at this point I'm ready to upload my photos. So I'm going to click Upload Photos. And on the bottom here you'll see that we get a progress bar that's showing it's uploading the first image of nine that were selected and it gives me a completion scale. Now in the interest of saving time I'm going to uh, stop this video until we're close to 99 percent. Okay as you see here we are now in photo nine and it's completing and it will report when the photos are ready. Okay, it says done. And it says your upload is complete and gives you the option to go to Flickr. So I'm going to click on go to Flickr so I can see my photos. It opened up the web browser. And here again, you can see the nine photos that were uploaded. I can add a description. I can rename it again. Notice these names are the ones that were originally stored from the camera. Since I'm not going to change it uh, currently, I'm going to go ahead and click Save This Batch anyway, just to be safe. And what we see here on the right are the sets that are uploaded onto Flickr. These are the current pictures that I just uploaded. I'm going to select this set and I'm going to view as a slideshow. I'm going to click on fast so I can keep my time down. For some reason that one image did not show up. As you can see down at the bottom here, it's marched through all nine pictures. And with that I'm going to stop the slideshow, go back to the There are some other things that you can do. You can organize the sets into what we call collection. You would use this, for example, if each year you took pictures on your vacation and you were to upload your vacation images, you could create a collection called Vacation and then drag all the sets that deal with vacation into the collection. So it's just another way to organize. Click on Sets and Collections and you can see the sets that you have. I'm going to click on the set that I just uploaded and here's where I could change the name uh, or the description. And that is the basics of getting pictures and organizing onto Flickr.